John Calvin was better to abused wives than his followers are today. Hi, I'm Gretchen Baskerville, and I'm the author of The Life-Saving Divorce, Hope for People Leaving Destructive Relationships. And I've been a Christian divorce recovery leader for over 20 years, since 1998. So let's talk a little bit about the famous reformer, John Calvin, who lived 1509 to 1564. Turns out he was angry at men who abused their wives and demanded that they stay bound in marriage to them. He thought these tyrannical husbands should divorce and let their wives go. Here's how John Calvin translated Malachi 2.16 in the Geneva Bible. If thou hatest her, put her away saith the Lord God of Israel, yet he covereth the injury under his garment, says the Lord of hosts. Therefore, keep yourselves in your spirit and transgress not. John Calvin's commentary on Malachi 2 gives this interpretation to Malachi 2.16, the so-called God hates divorce verse, here, John Calvin is talking directly to abusive husbands who try to hide their bullying behavior from God and from others. What else is this, he says, but to cover by a cloak your violence, or at least to excuse it, for ye do not openly manifest it. But God is not deceived, nor can his eye be dazzled by such a disguise. Though your iniquity is covered by a cloak, it is not yet hid from God. Nay, it is thus doubled, because ye exercise your cruelty at home. For it would be better for robbers to remain in the wood and there to kill strangers than to entice guests to their house and kill them there and to plunder them under the pretext of hospitality. This is the way you act, for ye destroy the bond of marriage and ye afterwards deceive your miserable wives, and yet ye force them by your tyranny to continue at your houses. And thus ye torment your miserable wives, who might have enjoyed their freedom if divorce had been granted them. Wow. Can you believe that John Calvin actually wrote that? He is talking about the treachery behind closed doors, when a person ought to feel safe. Notice how Calvin says it's one thing for a robber to kill a traveler out in a forest out in the open, where that person knows there's danger, but it's especially treacherous for a robber to offer hospitality and invite a guest into their home and then kill and pillage them. And yet that is what cruel men do to their wives. They pretend to honor the marriage bond, but instead they torment their wife under her own roof, secretly hidden under a cloak in the one place that ought to be safe. And John Calvin says, God sees it, and he isn't dazzled by your clever concealment. In fact, the concealment makes it twice as bad. It would be better to let the tormented wife go and enjoy her freedom. And by the way, if you'd like to link to a blog post where two Reformed pastors are discussing this quote, look down in the show notes. I also have a link to other pastors, and especially Calvinist pastors and theologians today, who believe that abuse is grounds for divorce. So look at the show notes. Thank you.